Sometimes when you're here
Don't burn it down. Bur burn it down. We're gonna burn it down. Bur burn it down. I killed it. It's murder. 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 Go crazy, berserker. 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 I killed it, it's murder, 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 go crazy, berserker. I killed it.
case murder. Go crazy, berserker. inside you so won't you wake up now and see don't hide away the things you're feeling unlock your mind and lose the key there's a universe inside you you should never have to hide i can see the stars inside you please just open up your eyes inside you so much more than people know i've seen you fighting your emotion i hope you stay and won't let go there's a universe inside you so much love to leave behind stop the path of devastation you should live for all the high the wrong scene that is the wrong scene this is going wonderfully and i'm not screwing up at all hello everyone um we are live on the stream so say hi anthony uh yeah <laughs> so you're still i know i'm still on that screen it's because i'm trying to <laughs> fix the stream while still looking semi-professional um yeah so non-existent okay yeah i don't know what's happening yeah, once again, Stuart's broken everything. What's going on, everybody? Welcome. This <laughs> is uh, supposed to be uh, a it's... stream where we sit down and play The Walking Dead. It's just a season the one, scene. episode one, but that is obviously not what's going to happen. So I'm going to quickly vamp for another minute or so. I'm beginning to hear it, so it's definitely there. Way. Uh, so yeah, we there it is. Sat and done some E3 coverage. We did. Uh, about a month or so ago, and one of the games that was announced was uh, the final season of Telltale's The Walking Dead. Correct. And we thought it was a good idea to maybe sit and play through all the games that are already out in anticipation for uh, the final season being released on August 14th. And depending on schedule conflicts, huh. we will... <laughs> potentially stream that game on day of release if everything goes well but yeah. this is this is for uh, nine. yeah th this is for nine and this is the internet and this is real life so it will never go according to plan but that is the plan anyway so let's go ahead and jump in i am just gonna for... quickly jump up the stream on my right hand monitor so that i can see uh the chat and how the video is going for anyone who has seen any of the posts ahead of today's stream we're yeah. only going to play episode one yes yeah. uh, and the yeah. decision has been made that you guys will be making the final decision for us so stuart hasn't ever played the game all stuart knows is that we're going to have to choose between one of two people mm -hmm. when we get like five minutes away from that i'm going to open it up in the chat and you're just going to start yelling names and whoever has the most votes will be saved and the other person will die because that's how real life works people people just yell until someone eventually loses but here we go this is <laughs> the walking dead season one episode one with that um, beautiful beautiful texture i i played this about two and a half years ago i'm liking the repeating cars Oh, here we um, go. So I know who this is. 
I know who this so is. I'm still watching the stream at this point, but I'll just go with that for now. Yeah, I mean, you should be able to see the game just a bit low frame rate. If anything, it actually looks kind of cool at 15 FPS. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm not kidding, it looks like a comic for, book. For a lot of the stuff, Stuart's just going to choose stuff because he's never played the game. I've played the game before. Yeah. Uh, so I don't really want to get okay, too no, spoilery. Just no, watch controller's not working. Um, yep. You know what they say about record. Usual stuff. But I reckon it's a lot like assuming. I reckon it's yeah, a lot like assuming. Like Voices of Lucius Fox in the Batman games. Play. So this is a series that is within the Walking Dead universe. But oh, well, what time. have you done? Every time. Uh, but not part of the the TV series storyline around the line, those lines. Uh, we play as a character who is as yet unnamed. Sorry, what's on his screen? I'm just oh, hang on. So, what do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big mess trial like that. Even oh, there go some police cars. I wonder what for. Can I can I try and grab his gun? No. <laughs> I want to try and grab his gun. I mean, obviously you can't. There's a big glass window in front of it. But that gun does seem like it's a very ominous place that we might have to use it within the next few minutes. To possibly shoot him in the head. Because he's a zombie. <laughs> You want to know how I see it? Wow. More. Yep. I got much choice. I'm just gonna unplug the controller. Ah, right. Yep. So I know what's gonna happen. I will also say that at this point I am also uh, doing some shopping, so I'm not 100% <laughs> focused on the game. But it's fine. Relax. Oh yeah, and this time he actually... A helicopter. It's not a riot. Well, it is a riot. Yeah, just with zombies instead of people. Yeah, it's a riot with dead people instead of alive people. Oh, oh, oh. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. So what did Lee do? He was an older fella. Big, soft eyes. Ah, uh, you find that out in the story. Okay, so I'm yep. not going to say it. That's fair. You... You should be able to find it out before the end of this episode. Good man for turning off the radio. That, that. So we spotted that. How is that for you, by the way, the screen? It's fine. So it is running fine. You can see the FPS. It's not breaking. It's... It's a low FPS, but it's fine. Yeah, I mean, that was the... That was the intention. I've lowered the FPS so I can run it at a higher quality for you. Yep. So it's going to look a little judge jittery, but you'll be able to read the text. That's the important bit. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. I do like how they do the um, trees on the mirror. You see what they're doing? Yep. They're just sort of like shrinking them off into a point. I got another good one for you. Less and a bit more oh! And that is not how physics work. That is not how physics work. Wow. Did we crash off a mountain? <laughs> that is no, not how physics work. J just five foot. <laughs> okay, this game needs to be turned down a little bit again. Can you tell me how it's on stream? No, it's just... Yeah, it's exceptionally loud in my ears. No, it's fine on stream. Oh, great. Just turn your headphones down. I can't. They're headphones. They run off the blooming screen. I can't turn them down or it turns the stream down. So it's perfect on the stream. I ain't changing it. Oh, shit. oh that's that a broken leg. Hurt. Oh, sorry. I just named him there, didn't I? Not I know he's Lee. I know he's Lee. Oh no, sore leg. Well, I just imagined him just lying there. Ah. 
Oh, family guy. Shotgun. Yep. Okay, and dead dude. Hey. Hey, officer. Are you all right? Huge trail of blood. Grey. Yeah, I think he's fine. I just think he's sleeping. Officer? Yeah, he's had a little too much to drink. Yeah, we literally fell 10 feet max. Yeah, that should not be kickable. This is a bad police car. He's also got a sore leg, remember, so... It's the other leg. I need to it's a David myself. Cage way of working with anything. You could always explain it by saying it's the other one. I need to <laughs> drag myself out that window. Okay, you just drag yourself out the window. So, oh. I'm an idiot. Didn't read the top of the screen. Yeah. Look at the door. Now let's all look at the door. Oh, 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 oh. Let's all look at the door. Did and that... we're out of the car. Oh, no, that's actually... That's about 30 feet. That's a big drop. But nowhere near long enough to make that many rolls. Did this leg just... about the dramaticism. you got to remember that. Yeah, what about 50 feet in the air? Is he broken his leg? Yeah, that's got to be broken. Right, first point. Can we just pick up the shotgun? Nope. Yep. So, no, ammo. You can, look at, you can look at it and take the ammo, but you can't pick it up. Ooh, that sounds painful. It's fine, you just reset it. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -da -da. There you go. Pick up the shotgun. That might come in handy shortly. Oh, it will. Yeah, it looks empty. Glad I just picked up some ammo. It'll be yeah, one shell. And he'll have the key, and he'll wake up and try to kill me. Do Let's investigate da -da the police officer. He's sore. There's the keys. They're attached to the belt. Oh, no. And then whilst we're undoing them, oh, no, officer lives. What? <laughs> you dropped them. And... And oh, lose your hand. Ah. But now he's going to do it because yeah. the tension's broken. The tension's broken. Um, I know. I know how what? games work. Yeah. There we yeah, go. There we go. He's alive again. The tension always works. So they try to break the tension. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. I will say, in situations like this, when a, a zombie gets close, you can kick them. Uh-huh. I want the gun. ka chink, ka -chink. That's That's not how you load a shotgun, buddy. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. You're gonna die, you're gonna die. Don't make me do this! Oh, wow. That's one way to go for the head. You have um, shared out this in all the chats we are in, right? Yep. RCX Loners Limited. Uh, I'm not in Warners. Okay, I'll do that. Give me a sec. Like shit. When it gets that cutscene. Yep. What the hell is well, you won't hear the audio, so I can't. Da 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 da. Are you dead? Hey! Are you are dead? dead? <laughs> I wonder. Uh, like brain matter. I've got some brain matter on my oh. shirt. Oh. Hey, Clementine. Help! Go get someone! I know that it I know who that is. There's been a shooting! <laughs> There's been a shooting! I shot someone! Who does that? <laughs> <laughs> who does that? <laughs> hey! I shot someone! Is he still alive? Or is there more of them? Dun dun dun! <laughs> Slowest attack ever. Uh, first of all, still here on stream. Falling over bodies. Great. Tell me if you can still hear it, stream. It's just, just I like, couldn't. It's just I couldn't hear you. I mean, I can always get louder. 
Yeah, let's let's not. Oh look, it's the treehouse. I definitely know where that came from. I know a lot so of things about this. Zombies. Jumba. They're coming for me. Oh no, Please. a fence. We can't get through that. Also, I like how the and lights completely changed. Change. Yeah, I know. The color grading just completely changed. That is a wall, Lee. Oh, we got some noises. Someone else is fighting off some zombies. You gotta love how old this game is, yet the graphics just don't date. It's because it's cartoon. Well, I mean, they really do date. You compare this to the new games, and Jesus, they've changed a lot. Hello? Anybody? It's just down to the... Uh, it's just, yeah, it's just down to the... And the fidelity. Well, no, and also the textures are high res. Because mm -hmm. it's not the resolution. It's all been 1080, but it's the fact that they can do... These aren't 1080 resolutions. These uh, are like... upskilled for... Yeah, these are like 480, and this thing originally ran at 720p. This game. As far as I know, it, I'm presuming it released on the PC first, but they ported it from console. Uh, I'm not going to pretend to remember what they, the initial release. I wonder if Clem's up here. She's was. probably up here. Talk to the treehouse. Yes. Talk to the treehouse. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's an interesting option. I shall take that option. Anybody up there? Yes, I have a tree. <laughs> Hello? Anybody in there? Yes, some leaves and bark. Okay, no, let's just move away from that. Yeah, no, you're just going to bring the zombies back. Yeah, no, you should. Yeah, they're in the tree. Somebody. Yell if oh. You can hear me. All you're doing is attracting the zombies. Why? I'm going to look at the door first. I, I want to look through the door first. I don't Okay, I'm just going to open it. <laughs> Bills. Bill's here. Yeah, of course oh. it's locked. Oh no. Coming in. So no, just jammed. I like how there's glass still in that window. So he's just inside, he's just walked through glass. Wow that those god rays are high. I'm not an intruder. I'm one of them. Yes, because zombies can't actually talk, so that's an immediate like so much blood. Uh, there's a lot of blood. Um, ooh, I don't see. This is gonna have a really depressing answering machine, isn't it? Okay. Three new messages. <coughs> Message one. Left at five forty-three p.m. Hey Sandra, this is Diana. We're All this is is for backstory. Mm-hmm. Right, so Ed's dead. Have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Drop that Ed. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise right. we'll be back. Right, there we go. There's Clem. Message two. Left at. Oh, this is going to get really depressing. She's going to panic. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just... Oh, I dread to think what the third one's going to be. Oh, God. Oh. That is just sad. That is just sad. That's really sad. <laughs> Like, legitimately. That's actually quite sad. Yeah, so the parents have went to Savannah. Yeah. And left Clementine. She's here somewhere. The babysitter is nowhere to be seen. Probably dead. Nor is the child. Okay, so let's take a guess. Right. Left. Right. Or in the cupboard. <laughs> Could be anywhere. <laughs> what about in the cup of water? <laughs> Honestly, it could be anywhere. <laughs> Could be any one of them. I'm gonna say this one. You know what usually happens with this though is it's always the oh. last one. Oh, she's on a. That's cool. 
She's probably in the treehouse, let's be honest. She's hardly talking. So she's here somewhere. Let's go, um, Are you okay? be nice. I'm okay. So they tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. What's more incredible is the age of the voice, the person who's voicing her. Mm -hmm. That's what's more incredible about this. Because if you heard that, you would not guess. It's like... It's like, it's like trying to guess Lindsay's age from... Achievement Hunter, a Rooster Teeth, by Ruby's voice. It's impossible. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. Yeah. I can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Whoa! Thanks for warning him. I know she. Oh, here we go. Yep, button bash time. And eat. Eat? Sideboard, I guess. <laughs> yeah, well done for knocking yourself out, buddy. There is the zombie. There is the zombie. God, yeah, Dick Moose. definitely fixed at this point. Quick, hit it. Hit it over the head. Knock it out. Hey, it's a claw hammer. Wrong side of the claw hammer, buddy. Correct side of the claw hammer. That's the wrong side. It's a bit of deformity, but I've still looked worse. <laughs> Adventurers in babysitting. That's the achievement I just got. Hi there. Welcome to the Adventures of Lee and Clementine. Did you kill it? <laughs> yeah. Something else did. My hand. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Mm-hmm, 100%. See, occasionally, if you know who's voice acting Clementine, you will guess the age, but only if you know who it is. And only if you've heard their voice before. It's like, as I said, it's like Lindsay from Achievement Hunter. She's very good at high voices. I think the don't talk to strangers thing goes out the window in the zombie apocalypse. Now, Stranger Danger still exists. Yeah, she's wary. She is. You can tell. Give her hope. Try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my tree house until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but So you managed to kick a zombie off, but not climb a tree house. Stay close to me. Oh thank you, but every time he was kicking someone, he's been lying on his back, so he hasn't had weight on like Yeah, but it's still gonna bloody hurt. Kick someone in the face. Kick anything. Put weight on it when you kick them and it's gonna hurt. You have to stay quiet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, stay stay near me and you instantly just As fast me. as we can. Right. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think if we had continued looking around in the house before mm. we picked up the Walkie talkie. Mm -hmm. That way we would have found a way to basically help our legs while we weren't limping. But I can't remember that off the top of my head if that is indeed the case. Oh well. There's probably some bandages somewhere in the first aid box, but. Oh, it definitely gets fixed later, but it's. I think when I played through in the past. Oh wow! Okay. What? We We're mistaken for someone at this point. Oh, I because see. It's a cop. Time. It's a cop. Dude, he won't listen to that. We're friendly. There's a little girl here. 
They don't. I don't think they know who he is. I presume they do. No. Yeah, he just said that. Wow, okay, so the other guy's a dick. We already mm -hmm. know that. That's good. He's going to recognize him. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? It's a shame his name's well, it's a shame it's not his name doesn't begin with a B. A lot in the jungle. I, I just saw a girl inside that house. No, it wasn't him. Oh shit. You hurt your leg pretty And then these guys helped the leg, I guess. Look. Help us find the thing that got our buddy. And we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. You should be able to fit your leg. And there we go. Her dad. Oh. Her babysitter. Her babysitter. <laughs> Parents are out of town. John thinks you're the babysitter now. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just want... Oh, shiz. Oh, no. Shouldn't have taken a shot. Right, so this guy's now dead. Drive. Oh, this is, seems familiar. Drive. Drive. Yeah, that was a police officer as well. That was a state trooper as well. Mm-hmm. As he said, that's chat. Hey, so at least now we know that you can run 720p video through Discord and you, your internet can deal with it. Everyone out there, yeah. Well, we know that you can get decent quality video through your 15 FPS. So, just like every other season of The Walking Dead, we find ourselves changing locations every 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. Well, it keeps the episodes mm -hmm. moving. I'll give them that. We're now at the farm. Say hi to your dad. I think no, I, I know what the decision is at the end of this. I honestly thought the farm was a lot later on in the season, so I'm quite surprised we're already here. Ah. Uh, and unless it's another farm. Different farm, about. Anthony. It's a different farm. Because isn't Herschel in this game, is he? Yes. Isn't that Herschel? I don't think so. Herschel Green. No, that is Herschel. That is. That's Herschel yeah. Green. I was going to say... Cause this is Herschel's farm, then. Jesus. No, there's a bigger farm in another episode. I know there is. Because there's a well that pops up. And that's not... And he's in the main series as well. But they... They do, they do jump between the actual TV show and use a few locations from there. Your boy's a lifer. Well, he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Oh. See, this is where you have to be careful. Yeah, you got to be really careful because Herschel's very untrusting. I know this. Isn't Herschel a vet? It's not doing so good. Uh, something like that. Because in the actual series, he's a vet. Because they do oh. say... T oh. <laughs> what? Oh, I remember what this one is. I think I also remember that... Mm. It's not fun. Yeah, definitely we talk like hell. What did you say your name was? Oh, I can't. I didn't. Well, now's the time. Gotta say it. Yep. I would. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. I'm Herschel Green, sounding a bit like Morgan Freeman. I fell. He did. Car accident. I was a car accident, you were yeah. in a car accident. That's so He's very... you got to be very careful with this, because otherwise he can go horribly bad. Out of Atlanta? Home? Yeah, out of Atlanta. The news has stayed. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. It's true, though. No, it is true. You should get out. doesn't matter what the news say. If you stay, you're dead. Nobody. I'm not getting involved. Is that so? Yeah. It is. We just said we. Well, we did just come back with his son, didn't we? Who is a police officer. So we can say we, and he should know. 
If I remember rightly, this section of the episode took me like an hour to do. Yes, that's the best word for that. You've got to yes. love that word. It is such a satisfying word. <laughs> Doesn't really sound like a plot, though. It sounds more like a thud. It sounds more like. Oh, okay. Or, no, I'm trying to work out how to blum in. There you go. <laughs> Godly is tall. He's got to be at least six foot four. Oh, he's thinking about what happened. Nam flashbacks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's thinking about what he did. Hey! Get up. hey! And look who it is. I know who this is. Hi, Kenny. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you this guy is literally the legend of the games. <laughs> that guy is, and also Duck is absolutely brilliant as well. I know the names of people. Duck, you're quirky. Had to do it. Had to do it. Katya? Correct. Is that the name of the woman there? Katya? Mm -hmm. Good. I know a few of the names, I just don't know the story. So I can tell who the characters are. Uh, maybe. Let's see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. Good luck with that. He's a hard And that's why you need to be careful with him. This is Lee. And uh what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. Yeah. Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on a tractor and yell at me. Oh, I can see that going so horribly wrong. Cool. Oh, duck. You are going to run someone over. 100%. Oh, yeah. It just it has to happen, doesn't it? Yeah, put a kid on a a kid who's not quite there on a tractor and it's going to end badly, isn't it? At least I presume he's not quite there. That's that's the nice way of putting it. I, I could put it another way, but I'm not going to. Yeah, Katya with two A's, so Katya. Hey there, girls. <laughs> That's a great way to start a conversation. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and he just passed people over some. It just, it just. Uh, it's okay. So what is her accent? No, not even going to get into that. I'm trying. I'm just trying to work it out. This could all be well, it's not German. Nah, it's Eastern European of some sort. Swedish? It's not that far north. It's not Russian. The closest it would be sort of Lithuanian. Yeah, Lithuanian, Romanian. She's American, one of the two. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except oh, okay. more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What now, she might be German. I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. I'm just trying to pick the accent out. It's quite hard. We can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. You were talking about. My mistake. Yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Yeah, it's an act. It. Yeah, it's an accent. It's Eastern I European. Think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how was that? It's easy. 
Well, yeah. Of course it is. It's first grade. So you're good. Lee is the most socially awkward person I've ever seen. And he's even more socially awkward than me, and that's an achievement. Okay, Lee. Hold on, first grader and eight years old. Wow. Hang on. just clicked onto that there. She's bloody smart. No, what? first grade means, like, the first year in school. Yeah. And she's eight. Well, hang on. Hang on. No, that means that she's been held back. Hang on. Sorry, I'm Googling this. Yeah, stream is now frozen because no. we're no longer involved no. in... No, 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 no. She's... Hang on. In... Right, hang she, on. She, she said it, she said it when you had the the walkie-talkie in the house. First she's grade called Year 2 in the UK. Yeah. It's if the first grade in elementary. It's the, it, it is the first school year after kindergarten. Yeah. Children are usually six or seven. Yeah, she's been held back at you. Didn't I say that? Yeah, you did. It's a good call. Yeah. She's been held back a year. Good spot. Unless that's just a mistake in writing, which is likely. Yeah, it's possible. Uh, what's your plan? What's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Basically, start go back to the pub, the put your feet up. Well, the no. And wait for this whole thing to blow over? No. <laughs> <laughs> I will take any no, opportunity to make sure that the dead references. But it's just going to continue to come back constantly. <laughs> stream. I'm putting my foot down now and seeing it's not happening. Need any help? No, I think I got it. <laughs> I just wanted to get out of my system so I don't do it again. What do you mean? You do it again in five minutes. Oh, I won't. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nope. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station with some guy. Always worth going through every single option in these games. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and Christ. It's lucky I was there. Well, for nothing more than it gives you lines of dialogue. Fills up the story. Yeah, I'd rather get all the options out of the way. <laughs> See ya. Fuck your family, I'm out. <laughs> um, Yeah, his leg's fixed then. Oh, there's the death machine. Yep, 100% going to kill someone at some point. Oh, look how close that is to his back leg. Oh, that is just waiting to happen. And look at that, it looks like you can control it. Oh, no, you can just look at it. <laughs> yes, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start it. Let's sabotage this guy's life. I'm going to speak to Duck. Let's see how out of it he is. <laughs> How old is he? How old is he? Hey Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Oh, time to play with a saw. Yep. I want to play a game. Yeah, cut it right down the middle, because that's exactly how big they need to be. So we haven't been told how big we need to cut it. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. What, the white walkers? Attacking the guy around <laughs> for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes. That is dark. In the survival of the fittest. That's he is selection. right beside a wheel. That's not ominous at all. Oh yeah. I yeah. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe. If it were far away. Yeah, exactly. Don't see glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and Sean won't forget that until he's dead. By a tractor driven by duck. How about yours? How's your family? Making bacon with Jason Statham. <laughs> <laughs> had to do it. Jason Statham just diving through the air with slow motion bacon. Thanks. 
That is the best mental image. Okay, that's a really cool mental image. See, the fact that Doc is playing with the gear lever is a little bit terrifying. Okay, Macon, Georgia is actually a place. Yeah, I know it is. Macon is... I no. May, I may actually go there at some point. I mean, I'm thinking of traveling out to the US again at some point. I really want to I really want to work in the US. That's the one place I really want to go and work. Specifically in broadcast. It's actually a bit of a distance from Atlanta. Wow. Yeah. Back you know. to the game. I mean, we could talk about stuff side to the game. Crucial! Yay! All oh, right. I was pretty darn honest, Herschel. Let's be honest. No. Can I just tell him anyway now? Yeah. On foot. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, true. Other than the broken mic. If you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was the plan. Having a place like this, it was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. I think the yes. So the I think the voice of Herschel is the same guy who voices Big B Wolf in um, The Wolf Among Us. Adam, whatever his name is. My parents are in me. Oh, whilst you're doing that, I'll quickly do the shopping. The confirma a confirmation, shall we say? What for shopping? No. Ah, oh, right. Uh, confirming that fact. That. Say things don't get better back in the city, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of Spain. So the voice actor for Herschel, yeah, is and I'm definitely gonna uh, murder Mid this name. I'll try my Is Chuck Kirkles? Kirkles? Somehow. Death Tractor, everybody. In the Wolf Among Us as well. Death Tractor, everybody. Ready for the death tractor? And oh, oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No, it was. Oh no, it has moved. Oh no, this is the decision. This is a decision. So we duck or dickweed. Choose. Sorry, it's got to be duck. It's got to be duck. I like duck too much. I like duck too much. I'm sorry, Herschel. Should I just let him take him? <laughs> Do I have the option just to fuck off right now? Oh. Come on, Lee. If you get a chance, you give it a try. If yeah. not... Oh, Sean's dead. Oh. And... Herschel's not going to be happy about that. No, he's not. Herschel will remember that. We are leaving now. We are now well, leaving. The still got to get fixed and good to go. Well, he's going to ask us to leave, certainly. I don't think he's going to be happy. He's definitely going to ask us to leave. Angry face. There we go. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> there is no need for that type of language. I'm going to shoot Herschel in the head. Can I just punch him? Please give me the option. I thought I could help them both. You saw it wrong. And now... I really just want to punch Herschel in the face. Let's go. Get out and never come back. So this was not the farm I thought it was. Yeah, this is different. Is because this farm is too small for the one you think it is. It was a rock and a hard place, or, like, a fence and a tractor. You got that ride to Macon if you want it. Yeah, Macon is a long way from where they are right now. Yeah. 
And I mean a long way. It's like five hours. It's not as bad as that. Three. Close enough. That's still a pretty long way. Come on. That's like this is from me to Norfolk. Oh, here we go. And the Radagas. Told you. It's always going to happen. Those who fail to plan, plan to fail. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Presuming this is where the drugstore comes in. I know a few of the main parts of it. I know nothing of the story. I just know, like, settings. There we go. <clears throat> also, 400 days at the drugstore. Yep. So, you kind of expect it. Don't. No. Yeah, he's friendly. Yeah, he's friendly. He's got sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows everywhere. But, I mean, he's yeah. smiling. Big savings. Definitely not your life, though. Ooh. Hey! Oh, we got some people saving us. There's always an Asian dude, have you noticed that? <laughs> In every zombie apocalypse, always Good one. Up. There we go. Get it locked. That'll Get it locked. Back. That'll hold them forever. Yep. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die. Right, so let's let's just look at who we think is gonna be the deck. So she's gonna be a deck. Uh he's gonna be the mediator. So basically this is just they look like sisters. Oh, he's gonna be a bad guy. Yeah, so I can tell you the old guy is going to be an asshole immediately, just by how he is. You're not watching the stream, are you? Sure. No. Why? You don't have the stream up anywhere? That's fine. Yeah, I do. Sorry. Right. Okay. You can't read any of the comments for the next few while then. What is it? I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Oh, was he bitten? He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. He wasn't. We have to end this now. Right, so this is basically every single old person ever. You gotta throw him out, or smash his head. Punch him in the face. <laughs> Kick his ass, can I say it, please? I'll go for it. Easy way. The, the easiest way to do this is basically just to provoke people until they stop yelling. Is he the soldier from TF2? I recognize that voice. Why does everybody think? Because they're both black. Because they're both black. Legitimately, that's why. It's it's subtle racism. Can you research who the voice actor is for? For Larry? Yeah. Because I think it's the same guy as the soldier in TF2. He sounds very similar. First thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead... Deal with it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to be addictive. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit up to the pepper pit is. And we're tossing him out Okay, so Larry's voice actor is Terence McGovern. 
Mm -hmm. And let's go and do the old Jack Patillo IMDB. Mm -hmm. And Terence McGovern is not only famed for his appearance as Larry in the Walking Dead Season 1, but he also has appearances in The Wolf Among Us as Johan. Ah, oh, cool. Uh, looking through in the Godfather games as well. Nice. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not seeing anything in relation to Team Fortress. So mm. He sounded very similar when he yelled. No, he's not. <laughs> To us, most. And, and this is not like sort of, but I think most Americans do sound very similar when they yell. Same with Brits. They sound very sort of sharp British accent when they yell. Yeah, shooting was uh, not a good idea. It's never a good idea. <laughs> Everybody down. Sticks his head up immediately. Oh, that was... That's heavy gunfire. That's not the military. Heart attack. And this is where we sleep him. It's probably the entrance leading to the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We Some family planning in the background there. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Kind of only if that's if that's where he was committing crimes or whatever. Starting to wonder if he's been here before. You will find that out in the next mm, 20 minutes I'm or so. starting to think he's been here before. Now head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peach Street. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, cycling what I can. You know your way around? Local. Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Lily and Larry. Lily and Larry. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. Ray Jepsen. will shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot. I'm not going to make the call me maybe joke. I wonder if there's an option to let him die. Yeah, if you just don't do anything. Yeah, just stand here. Talk about <laughs> yourself, everybody. <laughs> nah, no, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. I'm not a dick. Although there is an option to chuck him out the window. I will. I do not like him. Energy bar. Theft. Add that to your list. Look at him animating over here. <laughs> <laughs> what is she holding? Oh, right. I thought she was, <laughs> I thought she was holding something else then. Because <laughs> of the way the blooming thing was. Macy's. Yeah, of course this is going to be locked. And... Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, no, it's open. Yeah, I thought it'd be locked. It's open. That's a lot of blood. Clementine's coming with you. Yeah. Just so you're safe. A million dollars, but Clementine follows you everywhere you go. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I don't really think Lee needs a million dollars because she does it anyway. First aid kit. Gonna go search that. First portal cool. Lee's crotch. Um, <laughs> it's literally what that shot was just then. Okay. What else we got? Oh. There's some stuff on the floor there. Yes, that's why I want to look at it. <laughs> Who's 
use this then. And this is the backstory you need. That looks like Lee in the top left. Or Idris Elba, one of the two. This is where you discover that the pharmacy they're in is Everett's pharmacy. And what's Lee's last name? Find anything? Lee Everett. Yeah. Got to be honest. He said it, we had the advice from Herschel to be more honest. I know who you are. Da da da. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' <laughs> store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. Weeb. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. To be fair, props to the lady that she's, like, not being an ass about this. Yep. This was the big bit of, sort of, backstory hmm. for the episode. Like, honestly, who would tell people you're a murderer? They're just gonna kill you immediately. And the last thing we need is drama out there. We've got this little girl to take care of. Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't buy it. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. <coughs> I thought Clem's hat was a doorknob then. That was really confusing. <laughs> the, hat just, the doorknob just moved. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, let's talk to right, you. still got to like, try and find the keys and stuff. Yeah, you? I thought it was Glenn. It's always good to ask Dom's opinion on things, because she's pretty smart. There was that thing in the bathroom. Fiend. Mm -hmm. You stopped it. Mm-hmm. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go look at her. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Exit. Oh, fuck. I keep, it doesn't give me the option. It doesn't give me like one, two, three. I've, I've finally got used to it, but. So that's a look at the alley. Which I don't particularly want to. Ah! Lee's back alley. Perfect place. Oh, there's got to be something behind there. I wonder if there's mm -hmm. going to be a gun. Or the keys. Or a pool cue. I know that noise anywhere. The falling of a pool. That is a really, sp it's a really specific noise for a pool cue, but that looks like it's been modified. This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around that looks like it's a modified pool cue. Was he sick? Uh, he was okay. uh, just uh, the rounded nature of the wood. Yeah, to be fair, it's the same sort of word as a pool cue, because I'd rec I would recognise that noise anywhere. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's a smart like that. What's the time then? So it's Well it's stopped, so that's probably not accurate. Uh, let's move the desk. Better get this door open, huh? Yes. Yeah, she wants to help. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawer. She's not even anywhere near a drawer. <laughs> Things in this area. Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I. Because they're dead. Well, they're not technically dead. I bet my dad does. They are already undead. I mean, I'm presuming you've watched The Walking Dead, right? Uh, no. First okay. episode of season one, that was it. Right, I'm not going to say anything then. Do you have kids? Couldn't get into it. No. So you're not going to watch it ever? Have a family? No. Good, so I can... I mean... Uh, let's... Right, but, so... But if you mind, haven't watched... Your li then mind your live on the internet. Yeah. Engineer. I'm going to be honest, though. If you haven't watched the episode I'm about to talk about, you're Your so far behind that it's your fault. Um... So basically, in one of the episodes of The Walking Dead in the actual series, they explain how the virus works. Um, so they're not technically dead. 
Um, and all it is, is it shuts down the brain apart from the necessary functions. It's how the, an actual zombie virus works. We do have a virus like this in real life. No, I've got to be honest. Because they're dead. My parents are dead. I'm Batman. Lee Man. Batley. Batley sounds better. No, uh, Lehman is one of the companies that caused us to go into a global recession. So Lee caused us to go into a global recession. <laughs> God damn it, Lee. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. See, I like how it doesn't let you tell them. See, the thing is, you've got to be honest. Because let's be honest, children are going to find out. If you lie, kids are very good at detecting it. Oh, drawers. Oh, no, paper cup. I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. So... Also, to carry on with how I, what I was saying about what about the first aid kit where you didn't need anything, Lee? Didn't need anything at the time. Yeah, should have taken it anyway, though. So, okay. Long story short, everyone's infected. That's that's the basic premise here. Everyone. Yeah, so everyone's infected, and so, and as soon as you die, it becomes active. So yes, that does mean if you die naturally, it's still going to come back as a zombie. So whatever they do, it doesn't matter. Always going to come back as a zombie. So that's that's the premise behind the virus, Anthony. They don't ever mention that in the game. That's no spoilers to this game. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? But yeah, I'm sure. I'm, well, I'm hoping you're fine with that. <laughs> That's no spoilers to the game. I would not spoil it like that for you. You good? Mhm. Mm good. Yeah, I always worry that. Drawer, check, drawer, check, drawer, check, the drawer, check, the drawer, the drawer, the drawer. Please be a gun. Damn it, it's a remote though. Yeah, you can throw it. Let's all look at the door. And it's locked. It's probably in a box somewhere. Yeah, start looking. They've gave you a different perspective. Ah. Let's turn it on. Turn on Stevie the TV. It's the Stevie Wonder is on the Stevie the TV. Stevie on Stevie the TV. Uh, right. Gotta be something that we missed, so it wouldn't be in a bedding. It might have been in the first aid kit. I just searched the bedding. Nah. The Google to make sure I remember where they are. I think I have a feeling where they are, but. Right, so we tried the TV. Tried that. This is just me searching for absolutely anything. It's not there. It's not in Clem's hat as much as I wish it was. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling it's in the first aid kit. Luckily, there was nothing I need. No, okay. Yeah, where I thought they were. Uh, it's not through there. I'll give you a little bit of time. Mm, please do. I don't have to leave, do I? I said I'd give you a bit of time. Okay. Yeah, he said they were behind the yeah. counter. Yeah. <laughs> I just remembered. Oh, he said the keys to the bathroom were behind the counter. Yeah, but the... Was that because he was one of the things trying to... No, let's be honest with Clem. No, Gotta be honest, he'll trust you more if you're honest. Yeah, so I think he said the keys to the toilet were behind there, but generally the keys are on one big chain. So, that's my logic. Oh. Got to collect those energy bars. It's fine, it's your own shop. It's not stealing. 
No? That is very true. Alright, so I'm going to give them an energy bar. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. How sweet, Lee. I wonder if Doc has been bitten. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So... The infamous motor in. I literally had to stop mid recording and Google how to do this section. Hey Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm assuming this also means you've got to make a decision to either move to the motor in or stay here. Good care. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. We've got some family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor end, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Doesn't sound too bad there, right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I yeah, we got to help his heart first. That's that's the big priority here. Oh. <laughs> These energy bars are everywhere. On the floor, and the ceiling, and the ATM. I will say you don't have to try and find the keys at this point. I don't know, I'd like to try that. We've kind of got to, really. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Lauderdale. Even, if, even if I told you you can't, you need to have the story progress before you find them. Okay, cool. Hey, uh, what's that as a radio? Let's just... <laughs> I'm going to keep the energy bars. They are going to come in handy. I know they're going to come in handy. There's a lot of people, and they're all going to get very annoyed and hungry. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, people are going to get hungry. And somehow they don't get seen. There's the motel. Why he calls it a motor hotel and not a motel. It's a motor in. Motor in. Motor in. Yeah. Jesus, Glenn. All right, that wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. Nope. There's a survivor trap up there. No way. We gotta go now. Yeah, I say we leave. Okay, without us, though. Fine, let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. I'm kind of wondering if this is who I think it is. I don't remember who it is off the top of my head. I just remember this being a very annoying puzzle because you have to find something that doesn't appear unless you uh, hover over it. I'm having a guess it's Bonnie. So we need a crowbar. I'm not going to say anything for now. I'm just going to let you. It's a puzzle, go so. About it. mm. I want to see a better view.
Can't actually get back, apparently. No. Your train was the and stuff like that. There you go. Yeah, that, that just lagged. Okay. Ah. Noise. Yeah, but the... Yeah, exactly. Now you need to find the car keys. And that's the hard bit. Correct? I don't remember where the... Uh, how you get those out. Well, I'm assuming you need a car keys or a jimmy. Oh, no, wait, I do. Yeah. Yeah, I remember now. So I can't this look at... The, this was the bit that took me a while. Yeah, so... Let's go left. Let's head back across here. I would very much recommend that. And then we can head forward and have a look around the other side. Oh, so bear in mind you can look a couple of different ways here. So we can look left. Ah! Oh. Wow, that appeared instantly. Good work smothering them. Seriously. That's what took me about 45 minutes to find <laughs> in my recording. I literally had to stop the recording and start Googling to find out what I was supposed to do at this point. <laughs> <laughs> because that wouldn't appear. <laughs> I wonder if I still have the footage. Oh, that. God. This is how we're going to open the window. Or at least I hope it is. I'm fairly certain you used the pillow to dampen the noise. Yeah, it is. You, you punched the pillow. <laughs> I really just want to punch the window. <laughs> right, so the pillow's useless. No, the pillow is what you're supposed to use, from what I remember. Yeah, but well, it wouldn't let me. I mean, Are I can you? try just punching the window if you want. Ow. Hey, man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Hint from the game there, everybody. <laughs> Yes, the pillow ain't going to work. So I say... So, so what was the pillow for again? The pillow will be for smashing the window. It will be, but there's still another space I can get to, so... I can get over the other side here. Mm -hmm. So if I look left... There'll probably be keys in the truck. If I look to the left... And you can smother him with the pillow. So basically, to make it quieter, smother. you put the pillow on the head and then stab him through the pillow. Okay, we really can't go that way. How about the other way? Uh, exactly, but... I see any plastic. Oh, it's... This is a difficult puzzle. It is. There's an well, axe what, over there, but what? What did they just say there when you were trying to use the the pillow? What? Two corpses and one pillow. Two two corpses. Why is there only one? Yeah, so we need to find another pillow. No, where is there only one zombie? Hello. Nope. Oh, the other side. Car. <laughs> Good point, but to be fair, he is being watched. No, they're looking at the. the I know, I'd rather have a look to see you. if we can. So basically, then you roll the car off, get the zombies to look at that. Yeah, you put it. It's a, it's a improvised silencer. <laughs> Even though that doesn't actually work. Not to that degree, anyway. <laughs> no. It would still make a massive bang, because the bang doesn't come from the bullet. It comes from the chamber. Correct. Push the car. So you're going to push the car instead of opening the door? I mean, you can't open the door so. at this point. Oh. It's just open. There'll be some keys in here, most likely. Ah! 
way to shatter a window without smashing it with your fist. Small area on a big window. Well, the other thing is you're trying to push that car. What's with the odds you're going to be able to do it without... Unlocking the gears and putting it in neutral, yeah. <laughs> it's a sparky thing. <laughs> yes, for shattering windows. Right, let's do it. Well, it was on shocks, so it would. You could hear her then for a second. Right, now we can stand up and use the spark plug. You hope. No, 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 no. Put it against the window and smack it. Oh, that wasn't quiet. And you can hear some noises in there. What does it call it? An awl. I think it was an Avi. Uh, it was definitely a W. Right, so now we need to go back across here. Mm -hmm. Go across to the zombie in the car park, kill him, go around the corner, kill the big guy by the car, go up the stairs, kill the other two. I well, remember the big guy by the car. Yeah, I know. I mentioned him. Is facing the the RV. He is. But he's trapped behind a car. So if he did spot us, it's not a huge issue, is it? What? Ah. Oh. Wait for it. Wait for it. Nice. You got no. a big boy beside the axe. So we're going to get him with the axe because he's trying to catch us. Or not. Fire extinguisher then. Or not. Ooh. The easy way. How far that screwdriver's went through. I know, he just got brained. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? That could be useful for breaking down the door. Mm-hmm. It's a fireman's axe for a reason. <laughs> Sorry, I just find that incredibly ironic. No, I can't read that. <laughs> Respect our guests, please keep quiet. <laughs> and that incredibly ironic. Yeah, of course you will. I mean, I know this episode's nearly done. Mm -hmm. Because this is easily coming up to a climax right now, which is the point, and that sounded way dirtier than it should have. Um, hello. Let me is just... me you're looking for? Nah, let me ask you a question, actually, but... And... Hey. Axe to the face. How about some axe body spray? Oh wait, no, this is an actual axe. <coughs> oh, that neck came straight. Annihilation, up. annihilation. That really. Oh god. That Excalation. That neck escalated quickly. Hey. No, that one piece of wood's what's been holding them out. We're here to help. Let's go, guys. In a minute. No, nope, we're breaking in. Open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. She's in trouble. Miss, no, she's had bad experiences. Bad experiences in the five minutes since the. Or she's outbreak. escaped from somewhere. Or it's something else. If this is what I think it is. Oh no. She's been bitten. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you 
witnesses, please. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. I think she's gonna okay. she she's gonna want us to kill her. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave. This is not a Christian game, everybody. Um What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, if we get Yeah, she's seen it. Yeah, I think that's a fair. I, in this situation, I would agree with a lot of people to do this. No, if it gives, kill. no, if it gives me the option, I would let someone do this. No, you should do it. It's true. This is the reason, in an actual situation like this, I'd probably say, yeah, sure. Do it. I th it's it's a sad decision Excuse to make. I know how terrible this must but you just gave up the gun? We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. We can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. I think it's fair. I would, sure. yeah, I would nearly always. It's actually a thing in all these zombie games. A lot of people would say don't do it, but I, I will always say let the person do it. You're a good man. It's really sad. <laughs> really bloody sad, that sort of thing. But it's an option I will always take. Because ultimately, it's their choice. That is their choice. It's a sad and horrible decision to make, but I'll make it. Is this how it is? Right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine. And, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas if you free them in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend Still need that out. medicine. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Right. right. The one thing I would say, uh, a recommendation, uh, get some rest. is talk to Glenn. Can I with those things out there? Oh. Yeah, you know what? Kind of needs to get her on our side. She's a bit... See, the thing is, I think he's eventually going to work out who we are. How you doing, Glenn? You know. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everest a few times. Okay. Sorry. I mean, the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place. Can you be honest? Here we are. Back to motor. Can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We could. You never know. You can't give up hope. Oh yeah. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I, I. Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. I'm trying to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Sorry. Just for a second. So we are almost at that point. Uh huh. I'm just. I. There is going to.
become a decision very shortly that will decide the fate of two members of the group and the remainder of the season. The uh, question was put out in chat and the ultimate decision there is going to come a point where you will have to choose between two people and the decision is that you choose to save. I will announce it when we get to it. Yeah. What are you doing? Sticking stuff in servers. See if we can get as many people in as possible for the decision. Because <sighs> it's not that far off. How many have I got? You get one more thing me left. One more bar. I really should keep it. I really should keep it. Right, so we are still looking for the keys. We are. Indeed. I don't want to talk to Doug. Um, he said it was behind the counter. Well, have a look behind the counter, see if you see them. I'll give you another couple of minutes and then I'll drop another hint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should probably actually look to see how you trigger that. Mm -hmm. I think the keys might be out there. Sure. Yeah, the keys are outside. Have a look cool. and we'll keep In a way. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Oh, they're right just outside the thing under a brick, aren't they? They're literally under the door, Matt. That one's trying to get in the shade. <laughs> I think it might be that one's an intro for her. <laughs> Bet you it's under a brick. Well, there is a brick right there. Yeah, I wonder if the keys are under that and we have to try and find them. Let's hmm. break the lock. No, I'm kidding. Oh, no. You see what I'm looking at? Mm -hmm. That is one of the family. And he has the keys. It's under the hand. I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. It wouldn't need long, right? A few seconds. A little more than a few seconds, Lee. Brick! Throw the remote or turn on the TVs. <laughs> Universal remote control, everybody. Throw it. Throw it through the window. Well, I mean, the street lights are on, so I'm presuming it is.
You just smash a window with it. So we've got to break home with the axe. We can't get back out onto the mm -hmm. We're also part of some egregious fire code violations. <laughs> That's not really the worry about fire code violations and stuff like that. Awesome. Because that didn't attract all of them. Where's the brick? Where's the brick? Oh, the gate first. Noisy, noisy gate. the brick. There's the brick. Are we ready to smash some windows? See if we can get a good throw on that. Good throw. Yeah, a lot of success there. 50% off those TVs. Nice. Old-fashioned TVs, though. When was this set? Those are really old TVs. Like, seriously, when was this set? Lee's brother. It is, it's Lee's brother. Keep an eye out, will you? Yeah, Doug will not keep an eye out. I think that's pretty obvious. That is a really cool shot. Axe him in the head. That's just sad. This is the problem when you lie. I got to do this now, man. To do this. Axe to the head. Sorry, bud. Ooh. That got deep in the neck there. That's a really blunt axe. Oh, that is one way to do it. Oh. <laughs> that sent a literal shiver down my spine. Yes, same. Oh. That was brutal. See, now they're all going to be over Doug. Oh, no. Yeah, so he yelled. Good job, Doug. Good job. But now the lock's broken. Yeah, so they're hoping that... Some wood. The zombies won't be able to work out the, the rails. Right, quick. He's worked Great it out. Talks time. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Yeah, until Let's you find out he's a murderer. And she will. And no lilies with you. Short for Lilith. Oh. This is the All end of the, the zombies are going to start waking up. Right, from what I remember, the big decision is going to have quite a bit of time in there. So I'm going to leave it as late as possible to announce it. So she's already got a screwdriver in the back. 
and look at this as a reveal. Four. That's a horde. That's a full seven days that I hoard. A little bit less than a full seven days, but. Throw an axe, good job. Right, so she's not going to do that. Right, so the two people are right there that I have a serious feeling that this is going to make a decision. Stay away from the windows. She's a damn good shot. Yep, a really good shot for a uh, reporter. Quick, close it, close it. And she's going to come back with a broom. Okay. That ain't gonna last for long. Yep, because that always stops the door. Decisions. Yep, it is time, and the uh, consensus of chat is to save Carly over Doug. I mean, the consensus of chat. For what I could see, more like the consensus of Anthony. <laughs> Sorry, Doug. And to be fair, he dug his own grave. Sorry. That. Oh, Wilhelm scream. Nice addition. I heard that. Mm -hmm. That was. N they do that in every game, and I love them for it. Oh shit. I absolutely love them for putting the Wilhelm scream in every single game. Can we get the screwdriver? Oh no, we can die apparently. Ooh. Yeah, no, uh, you missed something. What? <laughs> <laughs> Can we skip cutscenes? Nope. There literally isn't a skip function. Because it's all on timing. sake. Hey, maybe I should say Doug this time. Yeah, it's your call in the end. Nah, I like Carly. Carly's better. She's a sharpshooter. We need that. We need the sharpshooter of this. It, 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 seriously. Funniest thing is, my 60 FPS screen looks better FPS than this monitor. <clears throat> because this monitor is a 144 FPS. So. Get anything to worry about, it'll be fine.
No, I'm not doing this again. Yep, so we know who we're picking. Yeah, we're going for a thing again. Yeah, yeah, gun. She's got a gun, Doug does not. Also, Doug's wearing sandals and socks. <laughs> so screw that him. Of a reason. Yeah, that is enough of a reason. He's wearing socks with sandals. Screw him. Right, remember you will need a bit of speed at this point. Ah, uh -huh. I've got to run away from this guy. Well, there goes sandals and socks. There's the Wilhelm scream. Now I just expect some really fast paced music. Run. I'm having to time this. Okay, now run. Now I've got to run. He knew. Loving the fade through. Ooh. Props to you. I was spamming the blooming mouse then. Yeah, it's a lot of zombies. <laughs> yeah, well that old guy's getting screwed by me. I don't care. He is. He's getting screwed next chance I get. Oh, look where we are. Yeah, I knew it would come back to here. Oh, that's a dark image. Orlando. And get the gasoline and light it all on fire. Clementine. Any chance I get to be a dick to the old guy, I'm going to do it. Yeah, more people in trouble further down the roads. But we can't help them, so... Not much we can do. Right, where's old guy? Where are you? Oh. I like how most cars in this game have, like, CB radios. Yeah, old school. I think I need to go. So it would learn. Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody. I'm presuming it's Atlanta. Uh, it's Atlanta, Georgia, isn't it? Yes. Gone either way. I gotta take my chances. She's right, bitch. Right, where's old dude? You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We try. And then, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. If they go from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? There is a reason for that, though. Get rid of the gun. Yeah, I do. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Oh, Glenn's a nice guy as well. And off he goes. Right, where's old dude? Ha! <laughs> shit happens on the bumper plate. <laughs> bumper sticker saying shit happens. Right, so let's just dodge them. Oh, Thank I you. can't. Okay. It's making me go through everyone. This is the end of the episode. Yeah, this it's is the end of the episode. it's, it's just making the sure that I get to the old guy last. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, better do any of us. With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl, oh. girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, kid. You got it. Okay, so it's guiding me towards her. How you doing, Carly? 
I'm okay. You know, considering. I can't what the hell happened to Duck's hair? We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Luke? What is it? How did you choose? They both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carl. No, that's never how the game works, though. Check on the kids. You see Duck's hair in those pictures was, like, really short at the side. Mm-hmm. Super Dinosaur was toast. Well, that was a that was a name repeat. Oh god. Like, Duck is definitely like me. <laughs> Never shutting up. Uh, he knows. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you were killed. When you go near my dog, she is going to die. So will everyone else. And I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Can I just kill him now? Can I just grab Carlos gun and shoot him with the head, please? Hey. That's a proper angry face. Yeah. You can't be like that. You're only one head. Music's changed. We're lucky to have End of the episode. And cut to black. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn dependable. Lock off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. If the military haven't already been infected. Incidentally, the military are already infected because everyone's infected. It's kind of the point. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. We know guys And then cut Oh Don't say that. And Never, Next time on ever, The Walking Dead. Never say it's going to be okay. That is like saying, how hard can it be? How hard can it be? Hey, don't say that. It had been a pretty so nice place. For here. anyone who doesn't want to see spoilers, go ahead and turn off your audio and stop watching for the next minute or so. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling... Oh. Zombies. And there's the farm. <laughs> I know what that farm is. I know what that farm is. Because I have watched the TV show. <laughs> the music is really loud.
This isn't happening. Bang! Why am I shooting the bang? <laughs> no more. I know what that bit is in reference to. The axe. And there we go. So that is episode one finished. We're going to Ooh, be here we ending go. the stream oh. shortly. But oh, no! Nope. You just Fuck. clicked straight through that, didn't you? Can I skip this? Yeah, good. Uh, no. Yes. Yeah, so we. Oh, I can't skip this. We won't be doing any further episodes tonight. We're going to come back again on Sunday, and hopefully get through the rest of the season. If not, get through as much of it as possible. Uh, that was a good, good start. It's good to get back into it because it's reminding me of some of the stuff that's going on throughout the season. But yeah, unfortunately we can't uh, sit and analyse our decisions because Stuart clicked over it. Yeah, unless I head back to the main menu, I guess. No. Oh well. Well, all I know is I made a few unpopular decisions. So, but yeah, so we will be back tomorrow with a podcast. Yep, I'll exit the game. It doesn't matter if it didn't save. With supposedly a special guest. Uh, Is that? I think so. I think confirmed? it's confirmed. I think it's confirmed. Right. So uh, possibly on a special guest on tomorrow. Uh, I personally won't be with us, but that's not a problem. Yeah. Um. So make sure to. Uh, jump back on for the podcast tomorrow. If you're wanting to find out more about the the Walking Dead, we'll be live again on Sunday. Yep. And outside of that, there's not really too much else I can think of. Exactly. The the VOD should be available from sort of like now Thursday. <laughs> no, it'll be oh, available now. Na- it'll be available now on Twitch. And. Yep. and then- uh, Thursday or Friday, depending on when we finally move it over for YouTube. It will be... yeah. Oh god, no, I'm just... oh no. So I'm just about to refresh BBC and I bet you England's lost. Yeah. Anyway. Extra time. One all. That has been everything for us today. I hope you have enjoyed the video whether it is live or Mm -hmm. uh, on demand at a later point. We are, of course, uh, looking to try and make Twitch affiliation. So if you could, uh, sorry, if you did enjoy the video, please go ahead, get on to twitch.com, sorry, twitch.tv slash 409D. Give us a follow and we'll be even closer to affiliation. I've got nothing else to say at this point. I hope yep. you all enjoyed, whether it is the stream or the video on demand at a later date. And we'll see you all next time.